Good morning. Happy Monday. It's time for Monday Momentum. I'm not sure about my Wi-Fi um, this morning, so hopefully everything is great on your end. Let me know that you're here. Uh, let me know where you're watching from this morning. I am in Charleston. I'm in my hotel room. Um, I have my mastermind with Stu McLaren this week. So I'm out in Charleston um, for the mastermind and um, we're kicking it off today um, here in a few hours. So I really hemmed and hawed about going live today and hanging out with you guys this morning. And I, I was like, no, I'm just going to take the Monday off. I'm um, going to just, you know, relax this morning. Um, one cute little thing was you get a picnic basket at your door. Go watch my stories today. Um, you get a picnic basket every morning at your um, hotel room door and it has breakfast foods in it. So you just wake up, they deliver it between seven and seven 30. You can roll out of bed and you have breakfast um, right at your door. This morning there were croissants and quiche and fruit and yogurt and granola in the picnic basket. And every day is something different. It's the cutest thing. So I got up and I ate my breakfast and made some coffee um, because there's a little, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little kitchenette in our rooms. So you warm up your quiche, you make your coffee. You don't, I don't have to go sit at, you know, like a $30 breakfast buffet where you're going to eat $5 worth of food or um, anything like that. So it's like, you get to relax in the morning. And I feel like sometimes I need a little bit more relaxation time in the morning. I feel like if you guys have kids, especially school age kids, like your mornings are probably really hectic like mine. Like we're up, we're out the door. We've got to be at school by usually 630 or something like that. Um, and so it's just a hectic. So I really love this slow paced morning. And if you're on the East Coast, you know that it's 10 o'clock here and not nine o'clock like it is at home for me. And so I'm just kind of going a little slow, but I was thinking about, I'm just not going to do Monday momentum today. I'm going to relax this morning. And I thought, no, because here's what happens. It's hard to be consistent, right? It's hard to be consistent at something. And when you can get really consistent at something, you should keep doing it. And when you give yourself a reason not to do it, like this morning, I told myself, eh, I'm out of town. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to relax this morning. I thought, no, because what will happen is I'll find another reason not to do it. I'll find another reason not to do it. And I'll keep giving myself excuses, right, of ways not to show up or not to put the effort in. And what happens is over time, you talk yourself out of doing it more often than you talk yourself in to do it. it. And it's hard to stay consistent at showing up when you don't see immediate results. It's hard to stay consistent at social media um, when you don't see immediate results because you're thinking, why do I do this? Why do I get up every Monday and go live and talk about a topic? Um, I don't know if it's doing anything for my business, right? And so that's the thing that you tell yourself. Like, I don't know why I'm spending time scheduling these posts because I'm getting no engagement. I don't know why I'm doing a live every week on my page when only 12 people show up. I don't know why I'm making a reel every day or a TikTok every day and I can't get past 300 views, right? Who's Who tells themselves, why am I doing this? Why? Why am I putting the effort in um, when I'm not seeing any results, right? And so I think that we have to we have to relate it to other things in our life. You know, sometimes I feel like a diet is the same way. Like I've been, y'all, I've been working hard, <laughs> losing weight, and uh, I've lost a few pounds and I feel really good about it, but it's like that minute that I get off the diet. The minute that I stop my exercise habit, which I don't have an exercise habit right now, but people that do, the minute you tell yourself you're not going to get up and go work out, it's all the same thing. You lose momentum. You lose momentum. And so when you're on a diet and you're maybe three weeks and you haven't seen a pound shed, 
and you're like, why am I doing this? And you give up. Or if you've been exercising consistently for a couple of weeks and you're like, you know what? I'm not losing any weight or I'm not getting fitter. I don't feel stronger. You give up. It's the same way with social media, right? So it's the same way. Like when we are posting, when we are creating content, when we are showing up and we don't get immediate results, we want to give up. We want to bail. Jennifer says it's easy to bail. It's easy to bail because you think, you know what? All that time that I wasted going live, scheduling my, my social media, I could have been making the thing, packing the thing, doing all the other tasks that I have to do in my business. But the problem is if we don't consistently focus on our marketing efforts in the way that we show up for our audience, we're not going to have orders to pack. We're not going to have subscriptions to fill. We're not going to have the busy work that we tell ourselves that I need to be doing this instead of marketing. If we don't consistently show up and market our business effectively, we will over time work ourselves out of a business. If I wake up every day thinking that my priority is to pack and fulfill the orders and I don't put marketing as my priority, if I don't put showing up as my priority, there will come a day where I don't have any orders to fill. We have to keep the marketing engine going at all times, okay? And the problem is a lot of times for many of us, it's our afterthought. It's the second thing. It's the last thing that we do in a day. It's not the first thing. It's not the first thing. And so I think that it's important that um, we figure that out. We figure out how we put marketing as first on our to-do list every single day. Because if we put order fulfillment, if we put curation, if we put all the other things in our business first, we won't have anything to do if we don't get our marketing under control. And so here's what I want to talk about today. Lisa, you live in Charleston. Will you DM me? I never give you permission to DM me. Just first of all, don't DM me, people. Um, Lisa, will you DM me? Um, I would love to grab a coffee with you while I'm here this week. Um, okay, so let's talk about a couple things. Coming off my recent launch, um, I've told you guys we were tracking just tons of data for the first time ever, which is feels really, really great. Because when I look at that data, I can see where stuff is coming from. I can see um, I can see where um, I can see where my traffic's coming from, and I also could see where my sales were coming from. Do you know where I show up regularly? Do y'all know where I show up regularly? Where am I at right now? Facebook. Where am I not at right now? Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. I show up on Facebook. And you know what? Facebook performs by a hundred times better than Instagram. I get so mad at Instagram. Let me tell y'all how mad I get at Instagram. I get so mad at Instagram. I'm like, why am I doing posts? Why am I doing reels? I'm getting no engagement, no likes, no follows, no anything. Well, you know what? I don't show up on Instagram. I'm not live on Instagram right now. Why? Because to me, it feels too hard. It feels too hard to go live in two places at once. It stresses me out. Do I need to go live two places at once? No. Could I? Yes. Could I take this version, make it a shorter video and post a reel every day or do an Instagram live right after my Facebook live? Sure, I could. Same content, same message, shorter amount of time. Sure, I could. Could I set up another phone next to my computer? and go live at the same time on Instagram as I am on Facebook? Sure, I could. Why do I do it? Because I tell myself it's too hard. <laughs> it's not too hard. I get in this rut of doing one thing over and over. And what I do over and over, I do very consistently. But then I get mad when I don't have the same results somewhere else because I'm not showing up anywhere else. I'm showing up on Facebook. I show up consistently. I show up regularly. 
and that's performing for me. Instagram's not, and I don't show up on Instagram. I don't show up in a lot of ways on Instagram. You guys get to know me through these conversations. You get to hear my transparency. You get to um, you get to know my feelings about things. You're getting to know me. I don't do a lot of personal posts on Instagram. I don't. I do some every now and then, but I'm not showing up. I'm not showing up in my posting. I'm not showing up in lives. I'm not showing. I'm in trying to show up in stories. You're going to see a few little more personal stories from me. I'm not showing up. That's why it's not performing. If you're not showing up anywhere, anywhere at all, you might be struggling with getting traction. We have to show up. And so I'm going to challenge you this week. So I was like, I'm going to go live this week. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to give them a challenge this week to do. Showing up consistently is our challenge, okay? And I don't want you to do all the things. Listen, I am a big proponent of not doing all the things and just doing something really, really well consistently. But I also am a big proponent that the more places you put yourself, the better your reach is going to be, okay? the, the bigger your audience is going to be. So here's what I want you to do this week. I want you to be consistent with your social media this week. And I want you to pick two areas that you can be consistent with, okay? So I put four things on here. I just want you to pick two of them, any two, any combination. And I want you to right now commit to me today that every day this week, you are going to be consistent at these things. And then I want you to carry that over into the next week and the next week and the next week, okay? But not everything. We cannot be consistent at everything all at once. We can start with one thing being consistent and then we can layer in more consistency. We're creating habits. And so that's what I want you guys to do, okay? So I want you to be consistent with posting X number of times a day. That's number one. I want you to pick two of these. You can commit to posting X times a day. When I did social media audits last month, I could see that people weren't even consistently posting once a day. That's a travesty. I would love for you to be posting three times a day, but if you're not even doing one time a day, I need you to commit to consistently posting one time a day. One post a day if you're not doing that. We've got to build consistency, consistency somewhere, okay? Number two, I want you to commit to creating X number of reels a week. If reels are your jam, if reels are what you've been wanting to do and you just can't create some consistency, I want you to pick that as one of your two. I'm going to create X number of reels a week. That could be three a week. That could be five a week. That could be seven a week, once a day. Pick that number and get consistent. Okay. Number three, going live. I want you to pick X number times a month that you're going to go live. Is that once a week? Is that twice a week? What does that look like for you? Jessica says, I always talk myself out of showing up. I mean, I can't show up today because my lipstick is the wrong color. That's what, that's what we do. We give ourselves the dumbest reason to talk, talk us out of showing up. Okay. So number three is, can you be consistent with lives? Number four, stories. Can you do X number of stories a day? Okay. That could be one story a day. That could be three stories a day. Which one of these four can you pick to be super consistent at? And I want you to put it in the chat. Posting X number of times a day, creating X number of reels a week, going live X number of times a week, and doing X number of stories a day. Which two can you commit to me right now to do? And that means when we get off this live, you're going to go over there and you're going to make the first one happen on your social media. Which two? Posting, reels, going live, doing stories. And you tell me how many times a day, a week, a month you're going to do these. We have to be consistent. Okay. 
And if we're not consistent at anything right now, that's a problem. And it doesn't have to start with doing all four of those. If you're consistent with two of those, I want you to pick a third one that you can start doing. Social media is our biggest opportunity for marketing. And I know it's hard. And I know it sucks sometimes. But we have to start enjoying it. We have to start doing something that helps us enjoy it. You know what I enjoy? Sitting here talking to you on Monday morning. Even though 30 minutes ago, I was trying to talk myself out of it. When I'm in it, I love it. We just have to make it happen. I need you to commit to yourself to showing up. If you can build some consistency, if you can build in some habits, it doesn't always feel like a chore. Get social. Get social. I just read the comments over here. Y'all love it when I pop on on Monday morning because you're connecting with me. I'm helping motivate you for the week. I'm giving you a little pep in your step for the week, right? Can you imagine what you would do for your own audience if you showed up and talk with them once a week on a regular basis? 20 minutes, y'all. I've been live for 17 minutes. I've connected with you over one simple thing. I do that on my retail page. I connect with them over the products that I sell, over our subscription boxes. They get to know me. It doesn't have to be hard. I know it's scary. If anybody knows how scary lives are, I know they are. And I know it doesn't feel like I know that because you know Sarah now. You didn't know Sarah five years ago. And it took that consistency. You didn't see my beginning. You see my middle. And there's a difference. I have been where you're at. I have been there literally crying because I didn't want to push the go live button because I had so much anxiety about it. But I'm telling you, it can change everything for your business. And you might be holding yourself back by not being consistent and not showing up. And Sarah in the chat, I've already lost the chat, but Sarah said, you know, I'm not even posting products once a day. That's another thing. And we could go deeper in that. But you need to have a plan. So right here, if you're saying, I need to be posting, here's Holly, posting daily, doing at least three stories daily, and I need to push myself to start doing reels regularly. Here's what we need to do. And when I was working on the Sub Summit workshop over the weekend, getting all that planned out, the biggest thing that you can do for yourself is to create a plan, okay? If Holly's gonna start posting daily, Holly, I want you to get out a notebook paper and I want you to just label it Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Saturday. And I want you to make a grid and I want you to write what you're gonna post all week long. Like today I'm gonna post a product, tomorrow I'm gonna post a subscription box review, Wednesday I'm gonna post a meme, Thursday, I'm going to post this. I want you to write it out. I want you to create the plan in your head and on paper so that when you sit down, and then I want you to write under each day, what are your stories? Okay, on Mondays, let's do a story right now. I'm watching Sarah's Monday Momentum, kicking my day off with my business coach, giving me momentum for the week. Everyone could get out their camera, get out your phone right now. Here. I'll do it with you. Get out your phone. We're going to make a story. Let me do this on how to start a subscription box real quick. I have to figure out how to work Instagram. See, this is my fault. I don't um, use it enough. Okay, ready? Here's our story. Hey, everybody. We're talking about being consistent with showing up. And so today I'm going to mirror that for you. I'm showing up on my stories while I'm doing Monday Momentum Live with all the amazing people that follow me. I want you to build a habit this week to show up consistently. Okay, that's going in our stories. 
Look what we just did. What are you doing on Monday that you can put in your stories? What do you have on your to-do list today? Maybe you're doing some packaging. Maybe you're creating some products. Maybe you're setting up your social media. That's a story. Let people behind the scenes, let people in and do that. Okay. So when you're writing out your plan, Holly, you've got your post figured out for the week, then go back and say, okay, on Mondays, I'm always doing this. I can do a story on this, a story on this, a story on this. You're going to do three stories a day. And then you're going to do three reels a week. You're going to think about, okay, what do I have on my plan for this week? What could I make reels about? Okay. Pick two things from my list and just get consistent at them. Okay. That's it. That's all that we're doing. All right. So I want you to sit down and write out your plan. And here's what I'm going to do for you because I'm feeling very relaxed and fun today. Um, Carrie, will you do a post over in the group today that says, show me your consistency. Show me your plan to something, something about plan. Show me your plan. Um, link this Monday momentum. So if people aren't watching me live right now, they can go back and watch the replay and know what we're talking about. And if you post your plan on what two things that you're going to get consistent at this week, your written out chicken scratch, whatever you want to do plan, I will pick one person that posts and I will do a one-on-one -on -one for 30 minutes with them. Okay. I'll give you a free one-on-one -on -one for 30 minutes. Someone that posts their plan. Who wants to get on a call with me for 30 minutes? We can look at your social media. We can look at your website. We can talk about your box. We can, we can go over a launch plan, whatever you want to do for 30 minutes. I want to hold you accountable to making things happen. And I know that we are much better off when we write out a plan so that we can execute it. Okay. So if you'll do the work today or tomorrow, Whenever, I'll, I'll pick by the end of the week. If you'll do the work now, I will pick someone to jump on a 30-minute call with me by the end of the week, okay? So sit down after this live and write it out and go post it wherever Co Carrie posts the, the post, all right? I need you to be accountable. I need you to be accountable to yourself and I need you to be accountable to me, Okay? And we've built in another accountability method this week inside Launcher Box. And we're doing our very first co-working session. And I want it to help you build momentum and build some habits. Okay. So if you're inside Launcher Box on Thursday, we're doing a co-working session on Zoom. I am out of town all week. So uh, the team is hosting it. All you're doing is you're going to log in on Zoom. And everyone's going to be working on social media at the same time. You get this one hour blocked out in your schedule to be working on the things, scheduling, making, doing, making graphics. We're going to, Lisa, we're going to post inside Launcher Box. I need you to be a Launcher Box member to get a free one on one with me. So we're going to post inside Launcher Box. So I want you to, to write this down on your schedule. Um, to come on Thursday afternoon. I can't remember the exact time, but the team can tell me. Um, jump on Zoom. Nobody's going to be talking. We're going to log on and we're going to have a co-working session together. We're going to take that hour and work on something together. And this time we're going to work on social media. Okay. So today I want you to get some things done for this week. And then on Thursday, let's prep for next week. Let's get ahead of it instead of always feeling like we're behind it. All right. Okay. So that's your homework. Two things to be consistent with on your social media out of the four that I gave you. Write out your plan for this week on paper, on the computer, wherever you want to write it out. Carrie's going to do a post inside Launcher Box where you can post your plan. And then when I get back at the end of this week, I will draw someone to get a free 30 minute one on one. Then I want you to come over to the co working session. Um, on Thursday and um, sit down and work together for an hour. No talking, just working this focused hour of accountability. Okay. That's what we're going to do. All right. I'm going to go enjoy my mastermind today. 
I'm glad I got up here and um, had a chat with you this morning. We've got to make progress. We got to keep making progress in the right direction. All right. And I'm here to help you with that. Have a great Monday and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.